Hello everyone, welcome to the channel you're watching Horizon Rover. Today is Sunday 22nd of January 2022 and this video is about today's daily challenges and Madame Nazar location in a red dead online. Today she is at Bolja Glade, not far away from Rhodes, at this location here. Oh, what's that? And the list of daily challenges for today is the next one, it's one bears killed. You can see the locations for the black bears. If you're gonna go to the area above the Little Creek River, you'll find also quite many grizzly bears in there. One cooked seasoned crustacean for that we have to cook. A crab meat with seasoning like creeping thyme, wild mint or oregano. To get crabs, Cuban crabs, you have to go to the island and search them around this lagoon. They are really small creatures, so use small game arrows or varmint rifle, not to destroy them. And then obviously you have to find them in your satchel and break them down to get the meat. So let's do that now. I hope I have some. So satchel, materials, there they are, human crops, and break down, hold, cross button while it's selected in your satchel and you're getting and you're getting crab meat oh hi Harry <laughs> another griefer fail here <laughs> I'll take him with me So yeah, let's cook that crustacean meat on the campfire to complete the challenge. So we have to get out of the town and set a campfire. There we go. Craft cook. And then we have to find that crustacean meat. There it is. Tap left to right to select seasoning and I'll cook oregano. One piece to complete the daily challenge. There we go. Oh, there's Mother Mazar behind me somewhere. There she is. So, next challenge is one crafted a tonic. Oh, we have to cook it. Crafted by the campfire as well. So let's do that. Craft cook again. Tonics. And I can do this one. Okay, and this challenge is completed now. Then Three players revived. Oh, I need Harry Warrior. Where's Harry? Alright, looks like everyone left the town. So, the easiest option to revive each other is to get to the back of your horse and slap it. It will knock you out. And you will need obviously a posse member with you who will revive you. That's the easiest option. Of course you can revive some players in the story missions, in free roam events and in showdowns, but it doesn't happen often. Usually they press the button to die quick. So when you are standing by the back of your horse, on the back of your horse, press circle button. You will slap it. Sometimes it will run away, but usually it will hit you. Well, now maybe it will run away all the time because I got that little griffer on the back of it. Yeah, <laughs> I have to remove him. <laughs> Sorry, horse. Let's give him to the butcher. Alright, so let's try again. There 
there we go. And if it will hit you like that couple of times, your passive member will revive you. And when you are in the passive, your horse will less likely kill you with the second hit. It will just injure you. When you are not in the passive, usually it will kill you. Oh, there's a player. Hello. Alright, uh, so we have to revive three players like that. Next one is one successfully fended off an ambush. You can see the ambush locations. This is a random encounter, so they are not guaranteed to spawn at all when you're playing in the session. But these are the locations where they will spawn if you're lucky enough. As always, I would suggest you to change MTU settings to 800 which will put you in the solo lobby if you are playing on PlayStation it's quite easy to do if you will follow up my video on my channel the next one one visited the peak of Mount Hagen Mount Hagen is to the north from Little Creek River by the way you will find few grizzlies over here usually if you will follow this way towards Mount Hagen. If you will go to Kota, then visit Mount Hagen and then go... Then you can go down that route and check if the bears will be there for your challenge. Right, so this griefer shot me. Oh, what the hell was that? Lantern. <laughs> oh, Harry. Let's, let's revive each other. Yeah, shoot me. That's another way to revive each other, shoot each other with varmint rifle into the foot, but also you have to be in the passing, not to kill each other like that. You will kill each other less likely if you will be in the passing. What the hell? This one is still... Trying to shoot me. We have to be in the passing to do this. Let's see. No. With the horse it's more reliable. Oh bastard. Lost my hat again because of him. Right, so we're in the passing now. Let's revive each other. I'll test the varmint rifle method as well. Huh? Because we shouldn't kill each other as easy as before. Alright. Yeah. He's trying to slap his horse now. Slap my horse. Oh, there we go. Worked this time. Revive. Oh, worked again. Nice. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> oh. Worked three or three times. Never happened before. Okay. Second. The guy? There we go. Nice, that varmint rifle now is also quite reliable. You become suddenly. One second. Just shoot that guy with the varmint rifle.
And one more time. Okay. Completed today with warming rifle. Cool. <laughs> Four shooting my head. So when you have visited the peak of Mount Hagen, uh, you can go back and pop into this location, check if there are any grizzly bears. Next challenge is two western chippings collected. And my favorite, one of the favorite locations to get chipmunks is just by strawberry. So if we will travel to strawberry, from here we have to go to this spot around the taxidermist house, usually there are many chipmunks. That little griefer killed me again while I had my map open. Try to <laughs> do something with a <the> fire bottle. <laughs> Where's the guy? He won't approach me anymore. <laughs> Next daily challenge is for the bounty hunter. It's two bounties completed within one real world hour, three bounty targets brought in and three bounty targets classes from Washburg. For the trader, distance delivery wagon travel on mission, 15,838 feet, three donated deadly predator carcass or skin. I would move my camp to the bio area and skin some alligators there. One resupply completed with five minutes left. For the collector, three antique alcohol bottles found, three arrows found, and three collector maps used. So obviously you can use the maps for the antique alcohol and arrowheads. For the Munchener, $200 made from Munchen sold, two Munchen of preferred type sold to a buyer, and one Munchen sold with five minutes left. For the Naturist, two blending tonics crafted or used, seven crafted or cooked at wilderness camp, and two legendary animals found using pheromones. So let's quickly drink that blending tonics, if I have any. Uh, looks like... Looks like I don't have any more tonics, so I'll have to visit Harriet. On that, I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching, have a nice day, and see you next time.